Hi, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Krista, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's problem as though you are one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from Lesson 5 of the Biochemistry 2 module. Be sure to pause the video, try the problem out for yourself before listening to my explanation. We're going to go through each of the answer choices and figure out what each condition would cause. So let's look at A, a pancreatic tumor. What cells exist with inside of the pancreas? First, we have alpha cells. What do alpha cells secrete? Glucagon. What's the role of glucagon? The pancreas also has beta cells. What do beta cells secrete? Insulin. What's the role of insulin? Then we have delta cells. What do delta cells secrete? Somatostatin. All these cells are part of the pancreas's endocrine function. It also has an exocrine function. Inside the exocrine pancreas, we have acinar cells, which do what? There are so many cells that this tumor can affect, but the answer choice doesn't clarify which cells are affected. So we can go ahead and mark this answer as wrong due to the lack of information we have. So let's look at B. Increased sensitivity of leptin receptors. What does leptin do? Leptin is released from our adipose tissue and travels up to our hypothalamus to tell our brain that we have enough fat stored. It's time to stop eating. We can go ahead and mark this answer as wrong because our patient presents with constant hunger. C. Overactivation of pancreatic beta cells. What did we say pancreatic beta cells release? Insulin. Insulin is going to decrease blood sugar levels. It is also going to stimulate the release of leptin. And as we just discussed, leptin decreases our hunger. Can we say that this answer is wrong? Definitely. So that leaves us with D. Let's go through it to figure out exactly why it's correct. First of all, what is ghrelin? Think of ghrelin as the opposite of leptin. Ghrelin is going to be released and travel to your hypothalamus to tell your body that you're hungry. I like to remember the function of ghrelin because I think it sounds a lot like grumbling. So you could say your stomach's grumbling because of ghrelin. So if you have a tumor in your ghrelin releasing cells, the growth of these cells are increased. Therefore, the secretion of these hormones is also increased. An increase of ghrelin stimulating your hypothalamus is going to let your body think that you are super, super hungry and you can't stop eating because nothing is going to satisfy that hunger. So we can confidently say that D is the correct answer. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, give us a follow and go check out MCATSelfPrep.com for more tips, tricks, and resources on how to ace your MCAT.